Hello, this is the Hiroshi Hayashi Hamama City, Japan.、Uh, I would like to talk a little bit more about the mystery of、uh, the Gigrante、uh, de Atacama, but I'm not sure whether I can explain it、uh, fully enough. Uh, but uh, I'll try to explain this is a very important story about the mystery. Uh, this is the Atacama giant, but you can only see from the sky, not from the ground, right? Only you, from the ground you can see a part of it. And here is another story about、uh, this giant. giant.、Um, have a look at this uh, uh, map here, right? This is Giza, and、uh, I draw a line to up to Atacama giant like this. And, the, and I measure the distance between them. is...、Uh, Okay, have a, before that, I have to tell you this. And this is the line from the Giza, right? And this is very important because、uh, you will know the fact very, very,、uh, very soon. This is the line from Giza, and the Atacama giant is just here, a little small one, but can you see it? Okay, this is the line from Giza, and watch here very carefully. Watch, okay, watch this giant very carefully. The line goes straight over the giant,、uh, cross it, right? Light and I okay, have a look. This is very important. Please, please have a look at this. Is a, a, a Atacama giant, and the line is come from the Giza straight. And watch here, the line comes straight over the giant. Okay, this means this Atacama giant shows the direction to、uh, Giza, Egypt, directly or straight, right? But、uh, this is not the story which I want to tell you. Uh, but I, I, I like to tell you another story about this giant. Have a look at this uh, uh, head, his head. Okay? He's got、uh, four lines on the head and eight lines, horizontal lines on his head. So this is just my hypothesis. But I, okay, have a look at this four lines on the head,、uh, horizontal lines, and eight. Uh, uh, no, no,、uh, no, no, vertical line, you eight、uh, vertical lines. So, this is my hypothesis. This, is, this means four. And horizontal lines, eight, four horizontal lines, eight. This means 48. 48. This shows, I just, this is my hypothesis, but this is the、uh, distance to the destiny, destiny to uh, uh, Giza, right? And,、uh, Okay, have a, this is just my hope hypothesis, but this hypothesis explains a very、uh, complicated or things much easier. Anyway, the distance, is be, distance between the Giza and、uh, Atacama is 12,000 kilometers, right? And、uh, if, uh, uh, when I divide by 48, the、uh, one unit is 250 kilometers.、Uh, Just this is my hypothesis. So, so according to the, this hypothesis, the distance between Giza and Atacama is 100,、uh, sorry, um, 48 alien u n i t Okay,、uh, 48 alien u n i t which is、uh, okay. And、uh, circumference,、uh, according to this,、uh, according to my hypothesis, circumference of the Earth is 160 alien u n i t It's、uh, just half of the 3.14 uh, uh, pi, right? And this is very um, uh, uh, convenient. You will know the、uh, reason very soon, right? I'm sorry, I can't explain this、uh, because my English is、uh, very poor with、uh, poor vocabulary. So please uh, read these. Uh, uh, And uh, please, uh, uh, just I ask you to understand me, right? Sorry for my poor English. Very, very sorry for poor English because I can't explain it. Uh, but uh, I guess,、uh, which is more clever to do so because human beings、uh, do like this, right? Uh, but uh, uh, if we, when we divide it by 160 alien u n i t、uh, It is very easy to say that. Have a look at this uh, uh, alien's map, right? I ha- as I have,、uh, have explained many times in the past.、Uh, you, you, you can、uh, say the distance like this 20 alien unit, 20 alien unit, 20 alien unit, 10 alien unit, 10 alien 
unit instead of using kilometers. When you see the Earth from the space, you can say uh, the distances like this very easily. 40 uh, alien unit, 40 alien units. When you say one, uh, 250 kilometers is equivalent, equivalent to one alien unit, then you can say the distances on the Earth like this, which is which is more convenient to say the distances. Of course, alien unit is much more convenient. Okay? So, I say it like this, right? Mm, so, I think, or they're very clever anyway. Or I say just, uh, you know, Yes, like this. Uh, please read them because I can't explain. Sorry. Anyway, the giant uh, in Atacama says, We are more clever than you, human beings. Uh, I, ca I can hear them saying, Before you s enjoy video number 171, uh, just keep this uh, in your mind. That this is West Pole and this is Equator. And the line from uh, equator at the angle of 30 will take you to Nazca down to East Island. But this is not the fact I found, right? This is someone uh, fact someone else found. Okay? This is not my this is not my idea. But this is my uh, this is what I have found by se myself. The angle 45.0 uh, at the angle of 45.00, uh, the line will take you to uh, the Atacama giant. Like this, have a look at this. This is Atacama giant. And this is another very important fact. I mean, Atacama giant has been uh, apparently calculated by aliens, not human beings. Because we couldn't fly over the space like this. Please enjoy number uh, 171. Bye. Sorry for I'm playing English again. I would like to correct my mistakes, small mistakes, in this video 172C. Uh, have a look at this uh, uh, Earth, right? Uh, on this, as to this Earth, we leave uh, the circumference of the Earth is 160 unit. Uh, one divided into 160 unit, a alien unit. Eight, uh, one eighth is uh, 20 alien unit like this, and uh, one sixteenth is 10 alien unit like this, and also 31 30 second uh, of the Earth is a 5A unit. It is very convenient uh, for space travelers like aliens to know the spot on the planet like this. Um, this is a sort of a icosahedron map for aliens uh, they use, uh, or space uh, sort of a map. And the search tra travelers use this map since it has no up and down or north and south, uh, just uh, uh, east and west, right and left, right. Uh, so we can z we can easily know, or they can easily know the place like this. A1 is here, A2 is here. And the circumference of the planet is uh, just 160 a a alien unit. So, uh, so each uh, line, uh, this line, the red line, shows uh, 20 alien unit, and uh, half, of, half of it, uh, 10 alien unit. And um, easy to say the distance between them, you know. Uh, from here to here, or oh, just 5 a alien unit, or from here to there, uh, 25 alien unit, or something like this. Uh, instead of using kilometers like um, uh, we we human beings u are using now, and for the plan uh, for this Earth, uh, uh, I've found this because Giza and Atacama is hundred twelve thousand kilometers. So divided by forty eight is just two hundred fifty kilometers for human beings. This is a, this is what I wanted to tell you. Thank you very much for listening. Hello, this is Hiroshi Hayashi Hamama City, Japan. Today, I would like to talk about the uh, Gigante di Atacama or ja, uh, Giant in Atacama. This is a mystery, but uh, I will show you that uh, in this video that uh, Atacama, uh, Gigante di Atacama was really created by aliens with evidence. Uh, before you think about uh, me uh, to be uh, insane, but uh, have, please give me four, uh, four minutes. Uh, 
uh, to understand, uh, and you will know the fact too. This is a, a point where the Atacama uh, giant is here, all right? Atacama giant is here, uh, and uh, just beside the Atacama giant, no one knows, or a few people know, that there are another line pictures about 330 meters away from this uh, Atacama giant. Okay. Uh, Gigante de Atacama is here, and about th 330 meters away from that, here, you can see another line pictures. Okay. Have a look at this uh, here, another line pictures here, just near the Atacama giant. And uh, here you can see uh, uh, you can see uh, many lines and uh, pictures. And here is an animal here, but this time this is not uh, so much important. And the lines here, but among them, this line is the most important one. Okay, have a look at this line, and this, you can see the similar uh, sort of a runway in Nazca. This is in Nazca. This is Nazca, right? And compare uh, the line in, of uh, Atacama with the line in Nazca. Uh, this is a line in Ch uh, Chile, line picture, and this is a line in Peru, runway uh, Nazca in Peru. They are very similar. And this is a runway in Nazca. So this is a starting point, and this is the, the ending point. Why is the starting point is narrower and the ending point is wider? This is the reason why. Ending point is here, and uh, then you, the alien can, uh, can see the line straight uh, with the same width. Then have a look at this sign very carefully. This is a very important, and this is evidence. Okay, I can show you today. Okay, have a look at this yellow line again, right? Very carefully, very carefully, please. Again. And, okay, have a look at this uh, line in Atacama, right? And yellow line, have a look at this yellow line, please. Okay, very straight, very accurately. Okay. Now, I, I'm sure you want to know where this line will go. I'll show you. And this is the evidence that Gigante de Atacama was created by aliens. Okay. 322.42 angles. Okay. Have a look at this yellow line. Here. It comes. Now you know where the line comes to. This is a this is a point, right? Have a look. Yes. We have come to Teotihuacan, Mexico, the uh, international hub airport for ancient pilot. Okay, now this is evidence that uh, the, the stupid people say that these are, they are created by Maya or Incas. That is stupid. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again next time on video number 172. Bye. Hello, this is Hiroshi Hayashi Hamama City, Japan. This is a Japanese language version, so excuse me to speak in Japanese. Minasan konnichiwa. Kyo wa Atakama no Kyojin ga Alien niyotte kakareta toyu shouko o mise itashimasu. Eh, watashi no koto ga okashii to omou mai ni dou ka 4 fun dake jikan o kudasai. Anata mo この約 
。このアタカマの巨人にも動物の絵が描いてあるんですね。ちょっと明度を上げています。左の下の方です。真ん中辺ですかね。ここです。よく見るとこれは動物の絵ですね。しかし、まあ、他にもラインピクチャーズ線がいっぱい描いてありますが、その中でも特にこの線が重要なんです。これがエイリアンが描いたという証拠なんです。アタカマの巨人はエイリアンによって描かれたという証拠なんです。これはナスカの線。地上の線ですね。この絵と比べてみてください。同じだからというわけじゃないんですよ。えー、ナスカの地上、こ,これは線は明らかにあの滑走路なんですけども、ねあの、出発点が細くて出口が太くなってますね。下が細くて上が太くなってますね。こうすることによってですね、まあ、あのこれを滑走路として利用するエイリアンたちはですね、この線を直線に見ることができるんです。ここがあの離陸点ですね。なぜならば、先の方が太くなってますから、あのなってますか、近くから見ますとあの、ちょうど道路標識のようにですね、遠くと近くが同じ幅に見えるわけです。ですから、出発点が細くて、出口が太いわけです。これでは、このアタカマの方はどうでしょうよく見てください。いいですかここ注意。この黄色い直線と重なりましたね。もう一回見ます。よく見てください。これ非常に重要なところです。もう少し倍率を上げてみます。よく見てください。いいですかこの真ん中の上にちょんとした黒い点があるところが、あの、まあ、なんて言いますか、一つの目印なんですね。もう一やります。あのここにあの丘があるもんですが、線が途中で消えますが、ここなんですね。これが証拠なんです。では皆さんはこの線がどこ行くかお知りになりたいと思います。では、この線を先へ伸ばしてみます。まあ、実際には逆に引いておいたわけですけれども、322.42 という機種角でいきます。間違いありませんから、これはあの逆に引いても同じことになります。えー、それでどんどんどんどん引いていきます。するとですね、322.42 の機種角でいきますと、なんとメキシコのテオティワカン、国際ハブ空港ですね、古代の国際ハブ空港へとやってくるんです。これが証拠です。これがマヤ人が書いただとか作っただとか。一方でインカ人が作っただとか、そういうことを言ってる方がもう馬鹿げてますね。その距離は数千キロあるわけですから。その方向を正確にアタカマの巨人は示しているということです。Thank you very much for watching and see you again next time on video number 172. Bye!